NCERT Social Science Class 6 Chapter 2 From Hunting Gathering to Growing Food Can we get into the chapter? From where did uh, the early man came in? Why were they on the move? We have to know all this, right? People lived 2 million years ago in our subcontinent. And these people were mostly hunters and gatherers. Now generally they hunted animals, caught fish, birds. They gathered fruits to eat. They also gathered roots, nuts, seeds, leaves stock of a plant and eggs of few birds they gathered and they ate them as food. Since they've gathered it, they called them as gatherers. Now, uh, since they hunted animals and birds, we call them as hunters. People traveled from place to place because after eating everything from a place, they'll be lacking few of the fruits and the sources of animal in that place. So to find out their food, they move on to another place. The next thing is that animals also move from place to place because they go in search of their smaller prey. Like for example, the lion will go in search of the deer. So, uh, these uh, people have should also move along with the animals if they were hunters. Deer and wild cattle went in search of grass and leaves. So, if they want uh, cattle and deer, then these hunters have to move to the place where deer and cattle would move. So, this made the people move from place to place. Plants and trees would bear fruits in different seasons. We all know that, right? So, depending upon the season, people moved from one place to another. People, plants and animals need water to survive. So, water available in lakes, streams and rivers were used. So, people and animals also moved to a place where water was available. Most of the rivers and lakes were perennial. That is, uh, you get water all the throughout the year. While others were seasonal. Only during rainy season you get water in those lakes. So, people live in those banks have to travel to a place where there are water. We saw how people moved from place to place. But uh, how do we know about these people? We have to know about these people by the tools they used. A few tools were found by the archaeologists were made out of stones, bones and woods. These tools were used to cut meat and bones, scrape tree barks, hides. Uh, hides means the leather used from the animals, chalk fruits and roots. Some tools were uh, fit with wooden handle or bone handle. It was used to make a spear and arrow for hunting. Like the one that is shown in the picture. Other tools were used to chop firewood. People lived in different places throughout the subcontinent. Archaeologists found these places where evidence of hunter-gatherers were found. Uh, these were located near the source of water such as rivers and lakes. How did people choose a place to live? People tried to find a place to settle down where good quality of stone was available because these stones were used to make tools. Bimbetka is a present day Madhya Pradesh. This is a place where the oldest natural caves were found and which gave shelter to people during rain, heat and wind. These rock caves are near Narmada Valley. Many of the caves in these 
place had paintings on the walls some of the best example from madhya pradesh and southern uttar pradesh these paintings show wild animals drawn with great accuracy and skill which was a olden place where fire was found kurnol caves were found with ashes this shows people were familiar with fire and they were using fire fire was used as a source of light when it was dark it was uh, used for roasting meat for uh, the food and to scare, uh, scare away animals wild animals after all this we have to know the different names of the ages and the dates archaeologists gave lengthy names for the time that they found out the oldest time as paleolithic age paleo meaning old and lithos meaning stone stone tools of this age was found this age lasts from 2 million years to 12000 years ago this long stretch of period is divided into lower middle and upper paleolithic age this long period covers 99% of human history what else we know about names and dates the period when there were environmental changes that is climatic changes people had to move right from place to place that was from beginning 12000 years till about 10000 years ago in this period it was called as mesolithic or middle stone age stone tools were also found in this period but they were very tiny in structure since they were tiny in structure these tools were called as microliths microliths means very small they were attached to handle made from bones or wood such as saw or sickle those tools were used from about 10000 years ago it is known as neolithic here polished stone weapons were used it is called as new stone age what happened when the environment changed about 12000 years ago there was a major shift in climatic condition climate grew warmer so grasslands were developed this led to increase in cattle deer antelope sheep goat etc these animals made people to think of becoming herders that is herding and rearing animal was done fishing also became very important now how do we talk about the beginning of farming and herding many grains bearing plants grew like wheat barley and rice near grew naturally in different parts of the continent men women and children gathered these food and they started eating they learned to grow plants with them so they became farmers once they became farmers uh, they had to settle down in a place now they were attracted animals and tamed them and they allowed them to eat their food near their shelter the first animal to be tamed was wild ancestor of dogs then people encouraged gentle animals to come near the campus where they live these animals were sheep cattle and pigs which lived in herds they protected these animals from their hunting animals which helped them become herders now as they become herders we have to talk about a little word called as domestication now what does domestication mean people chose plants and animals for domestication which is different from wild animals and plants they chose the plant which has very thick stalk that holds the grains when they ripe they chose animals which are much gentle so they have a different set of tooth and claws earliest plants which was domesticated was wheat and barley 
the earliest animals which were domesticated was sheep and goat the earliest animal which was domesticated was uh, had a teeth set which was very uh, not very sharp like the wild animals a new way of life was found uh, plants were bearing grains for few months or even a year so what happened people had to water the plant weed them uh, driving uh, the animals and birds which come in uh, till the grain ripened they then it is used carefully grains were stored as food and for seeds grains were stored in large clay pot pots or oven baskets animals multiplied naturally they provided milk and meat animals were reared and they were used for as food also now because of all this people had to settle down in a place since they settled down in a place they were called as farmers and herders now these farmers and herders were found in few places where they grew wheat barley and rice scientists found evidence of these grains bones animals like sheep goat deer and pig in these places The first settlement was at Burza home currently it is known as Kashmir a built pit house was found with steps leading into them these may have provided shelter in winter earthen wares were found inside and outside the house which shows people cooked food both indoor and outdoor depending upon the weather the megar tools of paleolithic age was found those Uh, were used for grinding grains and other plant produces in megar tools of paleolithic age was found as i told you grinding tools were found many kind of earthen pots were also found with grains lentils and wheat uh, these pots uh, were found and they were decorated with uh, sto- uh, stones and it was used to store food they were also used in cooking uh, they found people wearing clothes woven with cotton few people were still herders and farmers and few other parts of the countries had people who were gatherers and hunters and few adopted both depending upon the climatic conditions living and dying in megga these places were found very fertile this place is found in bolan pass which is a route from iran into india people learned to grow barley and wheat they reared sheep and goats uh, this was the earliest village found in this area bones of wild animals like pig and deer and that of sheep and goats were also found in this area other findings were remaining of square houses each house had four partitions one was used to store grains as well when people died they buried them and few burial places were also found human bones with goats and sheep were also buried so they had a belief that this food will help them in their eternal journey in their next life while uh, people in india were uh, so in the early age we found a few cave paintings all over the world one in france where the painting was about 20000 years to 10000 years ago these paintings were made from minerals like ochre iron ores and charcoal they may have been painted on any ceremonial occasions or spiritual ritual uh performed by the hunters the hunters would have done it before they go for hunting
other neolithic sites were katal huyuk in turkey is a neolithic site here flint was brought from syria cowries from red sea shells from mediterranean sea are and they were brought to the settlements there wasn't any carts uh, what we think is that they would have been carried on the backs of animals such as cattle or people Class six, chapter two, from hunting, gathering to growing food, is completed. Hope you understood the lesson. Uh, thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll meet in the next chapter.